you know, I get a, I get a lot of, I get a lot of backlash from women, women, from black women, when I correct my grandson or when I discipline my grandson. Now, what I'm seeing on the timeline is black women questioning me and my mentorship to a younger man. And it's crazy because y'all say it ain't no good men out here and men lazy, men don't want to work, men ain't shit. And when you see a man trying to mentor or put somebody in a better position to be a man, to be a real man or trying to create a king, you make excuses for him. You more concerned, it's saying that you more concerned about his rights or whatever then you are you can't go to the military if you had dreadlocks and you wanted to go to the Marines. The first thing they do when you get to the Marines, so they cut all people. Sh- and I don't know too many people unless they got P- P- uh, post traumatic stress disorder or something that ain't successful coming out of the military. Because one thing about the military, two things you're gonna get in the military is discipline and structure, right? What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. Make sure y'all like this video and share it. I want to talk about comedian radio show host Ricky Smiley. I actually came across this video recently, but the video is about a week old. And Ricky Smiley is talking about how there were a lot of black women who took issue with the way that he is raising his grandson or the way he's speaking to him or just the way he interacts with them. You know, uh, there is a lot of coddling of young males, especially in the male-native community. And a lot of these women wonder why these men are so attached to their mothers. Well, when you coddle them and you don't raise them, because truth be told, a lot of these women can't raise young male-native men on their own, even though they tell the world they can do that. They take issue when they see the way that men talk to other males even if it's males in in their own family and and ricky you know he was taken aback by it but i wasn't because i understand that we have a community full of soft uh, lazy males the only effort they put into anything is chasing women they only put effort into that they don't put effort into anything else and they have this weird attachment to their mothers, right? And their mothers have this weird attachment towards them. So, again, I, I play, I'm probably going to play a clip at the beginning. If not, I'll link it in the description box. Y'all can check out the video in its entirety. I think that Ricky came to the came to the not the conclusion, but he came to the understanding that. A lot of melanated women um, don't believe in men raising men. Uh, They don't like the way that men talk to uh, other males, especially when they're younger. But I think that young males need that. They need a man in their life that's going to speak to them in a way that is not going to coddle them, that's not going to be, you know, sensitive. That's the last thing we need. Now, again, I don't know what goes on in Ricky's household, uh, what people may perceive. But I just think that in, in our society, they want the males to not have to be raised by men. They want these young males to grow up in a household with feminine energy. They want these males to have an, a, a, a weird attachment to their mothers. They want these guys to grow up with the mentality of elevating women. They want these guys to basically grow up to be male feminists, to worship the woman. And we have too much of that going on in our society now due to the fact that a lot of these males grew up in households where they were coddled, uh, where the mother didn't expect much of them, didn't have a father figure or mentor in their lives. The only person that was there to give them any guidance was their mother. And a lot of times, she didn't even have time to really raise them. Now, again, I know that people aren't going to 
like how Ricky came across in his video. He seemed um, not only taken aback, but he seemed a bit upset. And I can understand that because I think Ricky sees himself as being very fair when it comes to black women, right? Anybody knows Ricky knows that I wouldn't would say he identifies, but he, he people will say that his platform and, and the, even the things that he's done as a comedian gear more towards melanated women. But I think Ricky, because he's took such an active role in raising all of his children, he understands that children need a father. You know, this is the same Ricky Smiley whose son was accused of, had apparently said that black females aren't attractive. On, uh, I believe, what, Ricky Smiley's show. He had a show. He w and he had went on a date. And this was all put out here. Again, people were talking about, at the time, a young man, teenager. And you have so many adult women upset at Ricky Smiley's son, right? Just like they are with LeBron James' son. They think he, his son, his teenage son, doesn't like melanated girls. And they feel some type of way. And we're not talking about girls, you know, LeBron James' son age. We're talking about women who are, who have daughters who are LeBron James' son's age. And they feel some type of way about who he's dating. The same was said about, same could be said about Ricky Smiley's son. I believe his name is Malik. And their perception that he didn't like black girls. Once again, we got young people. Do you know how many times I've come across posts where you got young black females who aren't interested in dating young black boys? They, they, they like other, right? doesn't bother me. I'm not offended. It's whatever. Because normally they end up growing out of it. I mean, how many, I mean, if y'all were honest, okay, I'm pretty sure y'all know of a melanated female that used to be on some, I date all these other ethnic groups other than black males when they were teenagers, right? But once they got older and realized what their dating pool was actually like, they switched up. That always happens. That always happens. You know, they won't tell you. Some will, but others won't because they don't want people to know that. But I think Ricky Smiley has every right, if he feels like he's doing what's in the best interest of his children, to raise them the way that he feels they need to be raised. But the problem is the melanated community is uncomfortable with how men raise children, especially young boys. Because if you have, if you have strong male leadership in these communities, you're gonna raise strong males. It's just that simple. These guys are not gonna be weak. They're not gonna be cowardly. They're not gonna be feminine. They're not gonna be lazy and contempt. They're not gonna be trying to live off women because they're used to living off their mother. So they have to find some other woman to live off of. If you have strong male leadership in the household, in the community where these young males can grow up in, grow up around, learn from, you won't see this. But the problem is you have a lot of melanated women who don't care. They only care when they see a guy like Ricky who raises his sons a certain way that he feels like is the best way. He talks to them a certain way and they don't like it. And they wonder why these young males act the way that they do. Why they show that why they have just as much feminine energy as they do. If they don't have strong males in their household, how do you expect them to progress? How do you expect them to be to be able to fulfill their potential? They're not going to be able to fulfill their potential unless they know how to be a man and have grown up around men. This is why a lot of these women have to be careful about who they have children with. You got a lot of these women who are having children with men that don't want them like that. But these women are so clueless and they're so desperate to hold on to that man that they're willing to have a child with that man just thinking that if they have a child by him, he's going to want to stay. That's not how it works. It has never worked that way. 
it's that delusion they are very delusional and what they don't understand is that if a man shows no interest in marrying you or having a long-term relationship with you and you haven't been together for months or years why are you having children with them there are women getting pregnant by guys just after a couple of, after a couple of weeks And, and, and they don't even have a clear because I, I don't buy this whole men are lying to women I, about, you know, wanting a, a marriage or relationship. I don't believe that. I think these guys make it quite clear that they have no intention on marrying these women. They have no intention of dating these women. And these women will have children with them anyway, thinking that's going to keep the man. And the reason why I believe that is true is because once they break up, she tries to make that guy's life miserable. She don't want him to see his children. She goes after him for support. She tries fighting with his new girl. She tries to make his life miserable because she thought that by having a kid with him, that would keep him and that didn't happen. All the while neglecting the fact that you need to have children with capable men of intelligence, a man who works hard, a man who actually wants to be with you. So you can have strong male leadership in your household.